In today's video, we're opening old Yu-Gi-Oh packs to determine if they are resealed and if I got scammed. What's up guys, we're back with another video and in today's video, we're gonna be determining if I got scammed by opening up all these packs. If you guys remember a recent video I did where I opened a bunch of, bunch of packs and I thought they might've been resealed. And then the previous video where I bought even more, like I bought a ton of packs and those were some of those packs. We have the rest of them today and we're gonna be opening them up to see like, did I get completely scammed on all these packs or did I maybe have some legit ones or maybe they were all legit. But before we get into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know if if you think they were resealed if it's a scam or maybe i just had bad luck let me know in the comments we also have a little pre-opening that was sent to me by yugi market we have the yugi's 25th anniversary i'm not even sure what this is i can't they told me what it was and they're like hey you want me to send us one i was like yeah and it was a while ago and i kind of forgot to open it a while back so they are going to have some of these available on their website i'll have yugi market link down below so you can check them out they also sent me a little note here. Hi, Ruxin. Thank you once again. Here's a little info about this product. Konami often collaborates with various brands as long as the brands are able to offer a product with decent quality. We've seen artwork monsters like Mega House with a Blue Eyes White Dragon figure, um, late May 2023, Tichibana with a Dark Magician Girl figured early this year, and today the eyes are on this collaboration with Movich. It is an official 25th anniversary product with each of the three Egyptian God cards. Ooh, initially scheduled to be released on the 19th of August, but was delayed. Very high quality set made of zinc and alloy with 3D printing on bigger than usual cards details are impressive you could feel each of them by passing your finger on the card it of course comes with support we hope you like it the promo code ruxin34 is still active offering a booster pack to your community on each of the orders from 50 dollars. so if you guys do that you guys can have a little discount code or a little code that gets you an extra pack so if you buy one of these you'll probably i think it's about 50 bucks you'll get an extra pack with it all right let's open this up apparently the egyptian god cards are inside so this is going to be pretty cool all right so let's slide this out let's see oh that's actually really quality stuff okay let's see what is inside here here we have oh my goodness look at these check these out this is not a scam we did not get scammed by these oh my gosh they're so heavy it's like 3d Yu-Gi-Oh cards that weigh like a hundred pounds this is insane okay obelisk that's amazing really beautiful we have the slifer the sky dragon wow these look absolutely insane this is awesome yeah let me know what you guys think about these in the comments that is really really cool and then we have the winged dragon of raw of course these like have some serious weight to them like they're pretty heavy winged dragon of raw that is such a cool set so there will be some available this is like uh something that's available like in japan i think right now so if you want a way to get them check out yugi market because they are you know they're located over there so they can get them a lot easier than we can so very cool likely you love to see that awesome product like that so we're gonna, gonna be hanging on to these that's pretty awesome all right the time has come to determine if we were scammed so i have a bunch of different packs i think we're just gonna open a bunch of them and see we might not open all of them like let's say we actually start pulling some good cards then i'm probably not gonna like open every single pack because this is like 50 packs but if they're all bad maybe we'll just keep going and try and get something good and see if we actually got scammed first off let's open this labyrinth of nightmare pack i think last Last time we got a couple supers so i talked to the guy who sold me these by the way he told me he opened up what he what the, like the oh my gosh okay we survived he told me he opened up the rest of what he had and he pulled just like six supers and like an ultra or something so he pulled one ultra total we've pulled one ultra out of all the packs because if you remember i pulled all super rares so that's a little bit suspicious when it comes to like okay why are we getting so many you know super rares it seems like a resale kind of thing it's like oh well there were foils in there they weren't weighed you know what i'm saying that's like what if you're a resealer you're thinking okay i'll put some supers in there and make it look like they're legit so i don't know we, we don't really know for sure maybe we'll pull something good today and prove that these are good to go skull there we got the earthbound spirit a suspicious thing about reseals too is a lot of times they'll put a card in that's not mint it's like near mint or light play or something like that and that's sus as well because that normally if a, a pack or a card comes out of a pack and damaged or like scratched up that's a bad sign so they can be a little bit damaged like out of the pack but not the way that they usually are in resale packs melkid and oh we are already starting it off with a super rare so we have a dark spirit of the silence so let's check the condition of each foil we pull like if we do this card seems to be from what i can tell pretty fine it seems all right that seems to be like a pack fresh card so maybe we didn't get scammed i don't know we're about to find out we might not find out but we're gonna try to find out at least all right so that's a good start that's one of those slimy cards very uh yeah those are weird those are those slimy cards from the blisters are very strange let's go to crimson crisis i want to say crimson crisis I was like that doesn't sound right and then i was like wait that's the name let's see if we get a ghost rare i think we can rule out you know being resealed i think we could do that we got the uh, cross sword beetle spell reactor re we've got the morphtronic force field vengeful servant 
Morphtronic Sling it. Metaphysical Regeneration. Verdant Sanctuary. Nim Nim. We got the Wall of Thorns. And oh! Doom Kaiser Dragon Assault Mode. Um. Uh, um. <laughs> all right. These are looking good so far. Remember when we thought we got scammed? This is actually a sick looking card. Look at this. Zombie. He's got the double face. He's got a face up there and a face down there. I mean, this appears to be a pack fresh card, so we are now two for two on pulls. So it could be that we just got unlucky. I mean, that might be the case. That's what we're going to do. I mean, that's the point of this video to figure out. Did we get unlucky? The last one, I when I finished, I was like, I feel like I got scammed, but I don't know if I did, like still, because we pulled some foils. And that can happen, you know? Sometimes you can pull foils and they're legit in that you just don't pull a lot of them. You know, you just have bad ratios. That's just what happens. So we're going to keep going. We're going to keep opening. I think the uh, the tactical evolution is what we were really like concerned with last time. So maybe we'll open a lot of these, see if we can pull anything out of Tav. Because, it, I mean, I don't think that they would have resealed and left in an ultimate rare. That, especially a good one like that. So we can almost rule out those. The Crimson Crisis seemed to be pretty good. The Tav, okay, we're going to try these, see if we can find anything weird with these. The Gift of Greed, your opponent draws two cards. Isn't this an expensive card? I think it is. Goggle Golem, the Cocoon of Rebirth, Chrysalis Mole, Goggle Golem again. I feel like I've seen Goggle Golem twice in a pack a bunch. It's really weird. And then an Aquarian Alessa. We are already starting off with this. We are now three for three. This is hilarious. Okay, so let's look at this. This one has some weird scratches on it. That looks more more like a card that has been you know this a little bit of that done it doesn't really i mean usually you wouldn't get a pack fresh card so this is like what we're going to keep an eye out for so we have pulled a super if we pull anything good let, let's just keep an eye if you guys remember we have gotten scammed with tactical evolution before with the same thing where we were pulling like really played foils out of it it's interesting how that set and like glass are notorious for being resealed i'm not sure why it's those sets but they are we just dropped some packs so let's open more tab all right let's go I'll see what we can get. Can we? If we get a ghost rare, then we'll know. We'll know that we're good. We got an X. Gift of Greed again. Oh, wait. Look at this. This is possible out of a pack, but, you know, also not, you know, a little something to keep in mind. Usually not, not great. Wait, what is up with all these cards? Look at all the edge wear on these. Okay, weird. Strike Slash. But also, as I have mentioned before, these slimy packs tend to have terrible quality control. So that could just be that. Dawnbreak Guard Note. We've got the Broken Bamboo Store. We're a little bit detective mode right now. We're trying to figure out what's going on. Spell Reclamation and a Phantom Cricket. Wow, but look at that card. Okay, that's like significant damage. That seems a little sketch. Like, how would that even happen? As the last card, that is pretty weird. I don't know. So that, that was like a huge crease. Weird. Okay. Another weird thing. I, I don't know. Like, it is possible. Like, if you guys open some new packs and you see a bunch of weird, like, damage. Like, think about in, like, 10 years when someone's opening up and they're like, did I get scammed? You know, it's like, how were we supposed to know, like, the print quality back then? Was it, like, really garbage? Maybe that's why. You know, maybe that's why we're confused. But I don't know. Ringe, Gatekeeper, Dark World, Cocoon Party. We got the Snake Whistle. Venom Serpent. Cocoon Rebirth. I mean, I was going to open these anyway. No big deal. So we're just kind of making the same video. We're just trying to figure out if we got scammed. Volcanic Rat. Another Aquarian Alessa. That's weird. And there's also like something going on here. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a bunch of junk on it. Aquarian Alessa. Oh, Jama Knight's actually a good card. Uh, let's see the back. Okay. This is actually normal on these cards. These like big like lines. There's a print line. That's fine. It's all this junk in the middle that really looks makes it look played. I don't know. Another Aquarian Alessa. So we pulled the same cards. We have more Tactical Evolution. Well, let's find them. All right, we do have more tactical evolution. Let's keep opening these and see if we can figure out what's going on. So far, Aquarian Alessa, all super rares. If we don't get anything above a super, I'm going to be a little sketch, but it's possible that could happen. Flint Missile, Flint Lock, the Chrysalis Larva, Range Gatekeeper of Dark World, the Cocoon Party, a Ritual Way, whoa, 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 even the Machine Dolphin, the uh, Snake Deities Command, and Venom Cobra. Man, I hate how these feel. I hate how these slimy cards feel. It's so gross. Like, I, I wonder if the Rainbow Dragon would feel like this. Is it, it would, If you pull a Ghost or a Rainbow Dragon out of these, does it feel all slimy like this? I'm interested to find out, which you probably won't. Marine Dolphin, we got the Light Effigy. Cool. Shield Spear. A Venom Cobra. The Flint Missile. Flint Lock. Phantom Dragon Ray Bronto and the Cocoon Party. So another Dragon Ray. All right. Still looking in tab for, like, something besides a Super. One, two, three, four. No, I think it was three that we've been doing. We have the Volcanic Rat. Venom Swamp. Why does that look so weird? Okay, Chrysalis Chicky. Goggle Golem. Will we get another one? Cocoon Rebirth. Chrysalis Mole. A goggle. What is up with the Goggle Golems? That happens so much. Trap Reclamation. Okay, just a regular rare and then a Venom Serpent. Okay, all these rares, are they all different? Like, these are slimy, this is not. It feels like a reseal. So, like, I don't know if you guys can, you can kind of see it. 
but like this is like the slimy texture and this is just like normal card texture like the normal print like nowadays well like older older print not like nowadays but that's what it's just like is it actually like that knowledge i need to open a blister and like look and see if it's like that because then we could probably confirm whether or not we got scammed because if we open a blister one of these and like the rare is the different texture like in that one like a sealed one then maybe that would confirm it uh, that it's okay. Venom Swamp, we could rise the Snake DD, or if it's not, maybe it would go the other way. King Pyron, Creature Seizure, the Crystal's Pantail, Blazewing Butterfly. Okay, so look, this is slimy as well. It has, also has a weird texture. It doesn't feel normal. I mean, they all have like little scuffs in the middle. It's like they've been out of a pack. You know what I mean? Or maybe that's just the quality of these of these things. You just don't know. It's another super, by the way all supers we still have not pulled something over a super which is making you like eh, maybe there's something going on i don't know could be let's go let's figure it out one two three we have chrysalis chicky cat of counter phantom cricket the ringe cocoon party we've seen him many a time ritual raven neospatian marine dolphin and a blazewing butterfly okay this just being the same cards over and over also makes it feel sketch. So look at the back. Pretty cloudy. A little bit of scratches on there. It just feels weird. Everything about this feels weird. I don't know. We've pulled four foils, all supers, two of each of the same card, which is just like, I mean, it's possible it could happen, but is it, you know, is it legit? I don't know. I just feel like probably not, but we really don't know. We can't really confirm it. That's the problem. Let's see if we can pull something that's not a Blazewing or an Aquarian Alessa. We have Venom Burn, Venom Serpent. Volcanic Rat, Cocoon Party, we've seen that one before. Ritual Raven, we've seen that one before. Neil Space, this is the same pack. Destructive Draw, Gift of Greed, and we have a Blazing Butterfly for the third time. There's a little pinhole in that one, which could be print. Um, this is weird. <laughs> Three of the same super. It's all supers, by the way. We are pulling a lot of supers, which is like, but here's the thing about these cards. These supers are worth like less than like 50 cents, I think. So it's like, you'd be like, well, but you're pulling all the supers. It's like, if you're resealing, these are the cards to put back in because they're not worth anything, you know? You put them back in and, uh, you know, you lost zero dollars. They're probably worth, like, less than some of the rares. So there's really not really, like, a, a neg if you're doing a reseal. Okay, we have a Volcanic Rat. We have a Snake Whistle, okay? Venom Shot. King Pyron. Creature Seizure. Alien Shock Trip. We haven't seen that one, actually. Okay, Reverse of Neos. And a mirror gate. We have another super rare. All right, another super rare. Okay, there. Oh, the backs all look the same, so they're either consistently printed like that. This is possible. I mean, it could happen. Where, where's everything besides the supers though? That's what I want to see. We have gotten a kind of a lot of super rares though, so maybe they. I don't know. Maybe they are legit. Who knows? I really don't know what to think right now. I don't really know. We have the chrysalis chicky, counter counter, phantom cricket, neospatial marine dolphin, the light effigy, amulet of ambition, ritual raven. Okay, this is just weird. We keep we're pulling back to back of the same things over and over. It's just weird. Look at this. Hell, look how many supers we have. Two mirror gates, three blazing butterfly, two aquarium Alessa. The tactical evolution are weird. That's all I can say. I, I don't know if they're legit. Even if they are legit, they're weird. You know, even then they're weird. Like we got some sort of weird uh, thing where they're all stuck together. Let's see. Are we gonna pull another mirror gate? Let's see. Volcanic rat, snake whistle, Ojamanite. Okay, strike slash. Goggle Golem. Will we get another one? Cocoon Rebirth. Crystal's Penny. Trap Leclamation. Okay, we finally got a regular rare, which is interesting. We have a few more of these. Let's see. Come on. Will it be Rainbow? Will it be the same old super rare? I'm guessing the same old super rare. We have uh, Venom Burn. Venom Serpent. The Volcanic Rat. This is such a weird opening. Venom Shot. We've got the Crystal's Pantail. Creature Seizure. King Pyron. Symbols of Duty. Okay, there's our rares. Okay, two packs to go. Will it be epic? Will it be awesome? One, two, three. Will it be another super rare? Snake Whistle, Ojama Knight. Okay, Razor, Lizard, Shadow Delver, Crystal's Penny, Strike Slash, Broken Bamboo Sword, Fossil Tusker. Okay, wait. This rare feels weird okay wait let me go back to the other rares okay they all have the, the stuff on the back too weird they're all not the slick kind maybe they're always just not slick but why are the foil slick and the common slick and not the rares that's what's throwing me off i think this might be our last tactical evolution pack we're probably just not gonna know we're gonna be sitting here like i don't really know let's just figure it out hero counter attack venom snake the venom swan we have seen these so many times pantail Venom Shot, King Pyron, the Alien Shock Trooper, Trap Reclamation, and Dark Effigy. So this one also doesn't have it. So maybe the rares just aren't slick. Maybe that's the thing. I don't know. I'm just, I'm very baffled by these packs. I'm very baffled by them. I don't know if they're resealed. I don't know if we just got weirdly 
unlucky and lucky at the same time we pulled like eight foils i don't know let's okay let's check some other ones we haven't done stardust overdrive very much i don't know I, i'm so confused yeah you guys need to let me know your opinions in the comments really probably no way to know for sure but uh i don't know maybe we'll pull something good i'm glad that the crimson crisis seemed to be legit bending destiny spider web he said he got them all from different places so some of them probably are legit some maybe not archer we got the mother spider and the reptilian medusa okay i think something about uh these specific tactile evolution cards is because they're all like slimy and weird and like they have weird print it's more likely to feel like you got scammed like even if you didn't just the fact that they feel weird and like weird things happen with like errors and stuff you feel like it's not a legit pack but it really is we're gonna get the infernity force because i've had people hit me up about champion pack four which is the same way they're like did i get scammed these don't feel right i'm like no you didn't get scammed that's normal hercules power we got the uh, reptilian viper roar of the earthbound spidey spider and Rinyan, the Light Sworn Rogue with the Infinity Necromancer. All right, okay. Since we do know these are legit, so, well, we don't necessarily know, but we got a super, so well, I guess that doesn't prove anything. But let's open the other one. We have one more. Let's see if we can get something out of the Labyrinth of Night. We have an upside down card, which is hopefully a good sign. We've got the Cure Mermaid, Akibio Drakmord, Kibio Drakmord, Earl of Demise, Soul Purity and Light, Summoner of Illusions, Shining Abyss, Mario Kutai. Love that one. Jam Defender, we got this in super um, in a retro pack opening at one point. And Amphibian Beast. All right, he's an upside down rare. No can do there, unfortunately. We also have some Cyber Dark Impact packs. This could be nice. Let's see. Let's go. One, two, three. Dark Lucius level four. Level down. Snipe Hunter. Barry Statue of the Inferno. Chain Strike. Barry Statue of the Abyss. Justy Break. Lightning Punisher. All right, Chain Detonation. Nothing in there, unfortunately. Let's try a couple more. We have Stardust Overdrive. We're going to save some of them for another video. Maybe we'll continue this in a, in a separate video. But it seems like, well, we opened all the Tactical Evolution. So that's uh, that's kind of like done at this point. Spider Web. We got the Relinquish Spider. Infernity Force. Attack Pheromones. Infernity Necromancer. Wolf of Cheap's Clothing. Relinquish Spider. Mother Spider. And the Toon Magician. Okay, nothing great there. Let's just open one of these Crimson Crisis because we had good luck with it. You know, feels better to like, okay, I feel like this is actually the legit pack. Maybe we can actually get something good. You know what I'm saying? One, two, three. Will it be a ghost rare though? I don't know. Super Solar Nutrient, Mortronic Rusty Engine, Half or Nothing, Assault Mercenary, Ivy Shackles, Trap Eater, Prevention Star, Gladiator Beast Sam Knight with the weirdest looking name. Is that name gone? Okay, wait, shouldn't there be like a silver over it? It's like the silver is gone. And then an ultimate rare. Whoa, Hyper Psychic Blaster Assault Mode. Whoa, okay, we will take that. That might be the way to end it. I think that might be an error card. And then an ultimate rare Hyper Psychic Blaster. Okay, Crimson Crisis loves us. So I think we're really good on the Crimson Crisis. This, on the other hand, I'm interested to see if this is worth anything. If you're a misprint collector, let me know in the comments if this is, you know, has some value being like kind of there and kind of not very cool looking so very weird opening but that was kind of the plan you know to figure out if it was weird or not let me know in the comments i want to know what your opinion is and if you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this shout out to choice 333 nightshade gaming yt hayden jameson squirtle hoppus flexi boy dizzy ernesto deanda puffins of doom tcg trusted cards jt cho tomato juice daxter tone Fo show and then high show christopher ward ian musa john nolan junior barding mike nance mimic gecko seth fisher stanley Thomas McLean and Tone Z. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.